Hi, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and emotional alchemy and the occult and so, so, so much more. And I know I kind of disappeared for like three weeks or something crazy. And to be fair, I've been really consistent before I disappeared. So like it was kind of unusual for me to disappear at this point but I needed to take a break and I also moved all of my like furniture and stuff around so trying to figure out where to film became a little bit difficult and then I just kind of wasn't in the mood to film because I had so much going on which I can't tell you about yet I really just stumbled on that word already but I can't tell you about it yet but you will find out very very soon and I'm really excited because I'm always up to so many goddamn things at one time <laughs> but that's just how I work and um, during this like break I had a bit of a, an emotional few days I want to say maybe even a week like it lasted for quite a few days where I just kind of sunk a little bit into a bit like feeling kind of low and almost depressed and I'd gone through depression before a few years ago so I know what that feels like and it kind of felt like the same thing was happening again so I now now that I know all of these different self-care tools and ways to pull yourself out of it I managed to work through those emotions and get out of it again but during that kind of process and those few days of trying to get myself out of it I was like meditating a lot and I had a bath as well where I, I love to meditate in the bath I just love being near water so during my bath I had a huge revelation which is that um because I was feeling emotional right and I kept thinking to myself like I'm feeling emotional for no reason nothing is wrong nothing bad has happened so why am I feeling emotional it's literally for no reason and then I had a revelation that actually it's not for no reason we never feel anything for no reason like there's a cause for everything our emotions are an effect they're an effect of something else happening so there's always always a cause and a reason as to why you feel something it doesn't just come out of nowhere and I feel like we kind of tend to bypass what the real issue is by saying that there's no real reason because even though my life is amazing even though your life could be like incredible and there's nothing really wrong that doesn't mean that you're emotional for no reason like just because it's not a negative thing that's triggered you to feel emotional doesn't mean that there's nothing that's triggered it if that makes any sense so like there's always always a reason behind every emotion including happiness and joy and things like that but there's always a reason behind behind our sadness, behind feeling depressed, behind our anxiety, like behind everything but we just have to be open to that reason and I realise now that that's why um, the sadness and like depressed emotions went on for a few days because I was avoiding that reason. I wasn't looking at why I was feeling this way so I just kept on feeling that way and kept on staying in that cycle where every day I would wake up and feel like it you know and I'd even have dreams about it and about like certain things related to it and it's only when I finally had this bath and took the time to just be still and not try and analyze shit not try and like distract myself get off of my goddamn phone and social media and stop scrolling and finally just let my thoughts run wild and let the downloads and like the channeled information come to me and then I realised oh so this is why I'm feeling sad like this is why I'm feeling stagnant this is why I need to change certain things in my life and that's causing these emotions so yeah I just realised that there's always always a reason especially because in some of my other videos if you've watched um I don't know why my mind just went so blank there but in some of my other videos I've talked about the fact that our emotions are signals and warning signs for us telling us about something that needs to happen in our lives like a change that you need to make so it's really weird how I know this and yet I didn't correlate the fact that that means that there's always a reason because if it's a warning sign and a signal then that means that it's actually showing you something which means that there's a reason for it to even be happening you know so if you're feeling down or sad or 
any kind of emotion there is a reason behind it it's not for no reason and even though sometimes the reasons can be quite painful and that's why we want to avoid it we don't want to listen to it we don't want to look at that road sign but it's the only way to really be able to transmute that emotion to be able to release it and move forward and allow other emotions and things to come up in our lives and other situations you know like we get stuck in these cycles and we become stagnant because we're stuck there and you can't move forward you can't have that stagnation unfold and unravel if you're not actually looking to change what's happening in front of you if you're not looking to look at the cause basically because the cause is something that needs to change you know so if you're not willing to look at it then you can't obviously change it and sometimes we want to stay stuck there for a while because sometimes we don't want to change it like i would rather just stay here in my little sadness for a little while because i want to you know because i know that that change that i need to make is scary and i don't want to have to go off and do that but there comes a point when you have to do it because you can't stay stagnant and stuck and feeling miserable forever because who wants to do that? Like, you reach a limit, you know, where it's just enough is enough. And that is what happened to me after a couple of days. I was like, okay, I need to do something about this because I cannot stay like this forever. It's getting on my nerves now, you know? But obviously, this is a process and you still have to be kind to yourself in that process because, I mean, we are dealing with crazy shit at the moment especially with this whole global situation going on so like we can't beat ourselves up for feeling all over the place because the whole collective is all over the place and sometimes the cause for our emotions is actually because we've been sitting on social media reading all of the crazy shit that's happening in the world and that triggers our emotions and then if we don't process that information that we've just absorbed and consumed it's gonna eat up at us like it's gonna affect us in our everyday lives without us even realizing it you know so we have to be um very conscious of what we're consuming but then also be aware of what's our emotions and what isn't like what's ours to absorb and what isn't so that rather than absorbing all of this negative shit that's going on in the world you can be aware of it without absorbing it you know because it's still not yours to allow into your emotional body and your energetic field like we don't want that we need energetic boundaries and this is something that I'm really working on right now because I, I don't know just because it's just gone on for too long <laughs> so yes I hope this video was helpful I just thought I would share this message because it's like a huge download and revelation that I had and I know that a lot of us a lot of us think that we're emotional for no reason but you actually are emotional for a very very valid reason <laughs> so yes thank you so much for listening and watching i really appreciate you don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because i do upload three times a week and all my social media my music my phone number everything about me will be in the description box below so i'll see you in the next video bye oh, yeah, Think you like me, yeah I'm icy, cooling in the white tee Oh yeah, I think you might, I'm the thing you like, in my range all white Oh yeah, I think you might, I'm the thing you like, in my range all white